I'd hate to live my whole life in a bubble. We still... Not many places older than Aquila. This old stories, old planet. Finding's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. We're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is... We can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Sidonia City Security is here to keep you safe. If you see something suspicious, don't hesitate to report it to any security officer. <laughs> Okay, I can see you're serious about helping me. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. 
I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. The most powerful force in the galaxy. Bureaucratic inertia. This whole job's giving me a headache. More for demo. So the Free Star Collective would be safe and secure. They make a hell of a warship. Demo ships are I'm responsible for, for countless victories. You better believe it. Enjoy. Next time.
done. Enjoy Sidonia. We're going to make sure you get that job. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. Don't tell me I've scared you off now. Trust me, this is... So I take it you're ready to delete all the other app... That's the spirit? Believe me, this is gonna help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Can you check your air filters lately? The city of Sidonia recommends checking your filtration unit every two weeks for old, faulty, or improperly fitted filters. Martian dust is a leading cause of respiratory illness. Remember, keep it breathing so you don't get wheezy. Another long day. Do you work for us? What a hell of a shit. how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. I can't recall the last time. Well, yeah, but... Oh, fine. I guess not. It's been hard, but I'm getting through it. I'll be okay. There you go. How about a girls-only weekend to Paradiso sometime soon? To cheer you up. You're a Demos employee. I can't really help you. Let's see. I 
could really use some help with my computer terminal. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Pardon me. A friendly reminder that throwing litter off the balcony is prohibited. Please use an authorized waste receptacle. Sometimes I feel like these mines just run themselves. <laughs> I like to think that's thanks to me. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Hmm, what happened to the old one? You know what, never mind. They told me you were a strong candidate for this job. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how well you do. Well enough, chit-chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Hmm. Yeah. You simply won't find a politician who works harder for his people than I do. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Goodbye. Ah, hello. What can I do for... Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can drop the act with me. Well, there, that was years ago, and I paid my debts. Oh, you're talking to him. Son, I don't even know who you are. 
Haven't gotten that far yet. So yes, I'm talking about your friend here. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Oh, it's uh, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship. So I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? I figured you were a kindred spirit. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, right? I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There's a mess of ugly out there, but my God, there's grandeur too. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. It makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. And not knowing what's next. Always keep him guessing. Yeah, you know, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Not one drop. He's always been about making deals, keeping goods moving. Despite his many, many flaws, I think deep down, he is trying to do good for Aquila City. But if you're gonna be name dropping Solomon all the damn time, you should act a little more like him. I couldn't ask for better company. Bother you, but 
I'm listening. Let's see what you've got to say, cowboy. Keep your weapon in its holster and come on board. alone and helpless as you thought. So think about how you want to handle this. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship and maybe we'll let you live. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. over. Consider my curiosity peaked. I didn't think you were a fool. I'm listening. That's where you're wrong. I'm no longer feeling very reasonable. Seems reasonable. I'll think about it. Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up. Use it for blackmail. Whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? Smart choice. Now, I suggest leaving before our reinforcements show up. I can't guarantee they'll be as accommodating as we are. Take the good stuff, leave the rest. If nothing else, you 
got guts for someone who ain't to brave. Don't overstay your welcome. Don't make any sudden moves. I won't hesitate to dust you. I feel like a superhero here. Do your part to keep Sidonia and Graffiti free. Good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again.
I couldn't be prouder than to govern the UC's first major space colony. Mining must be a fun job, or else why... My shipment, do you have it yet? Ah, yes, I'll take that. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I, uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Thing I, I don't know. I believe my last. Have a good one. I didn't make. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. I do for you. 
I'm sure you can find something you like. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. You're not saying you can't handle the wood. Here you go. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Well, you know, our space is limited. Oh, do you now? Well, you're not wrong. I do have something to do with it. In fact, I'm the one who took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. 
And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Shit. You're right. Fine. You got me. You say I take you to the goods and we bring it back. You can even say you found it. Just don't turn me in, alright? Relax, hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Well, just follow him. What could go wrong? Right. We get a lot of new faces passing through here. Unless you're a Deimos employee, I can't think I'm overbearing. But what they don't know is that I've saved this operation from being shut down countless times. Say it's my bad. so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone, and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan.
not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best for returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> Was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? my ship off away so they wouldn't find it right away. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. Eh? I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it. Save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead? That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Uh, either you're lying, or it seems to have worked out for you so far. Can't be that bad. Do they? Oh, maybe I need to rethink what I'm doing. You seem pretty sure of that. You really wouldn't rat on me, huh? God damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea of... I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? Hey, I, I like how you think. You'd really do that for me? I mean, as long as they get the equipment back, no harm, no foul, right? And if they think I got it back for them, then maybe I'll finally get the respect I deserve! Yeah, 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 I'm down for this. Let, let's do it. I mean, he doesn't deserve to be roasted over the coals, but... Hank, the hero?
right out there on the main level. Time is money, love, so if you've got something to say. Keep your eyes peeled for signs of terror. I tell you, Sidonia's a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately. Despite enjoy Sidonia. Any luck? I'm looking forward to hearing all about... Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Look, I've got some credits set aside for you, but I need to know what happened with the equipment first. Care to fill me in? Wow, is that true, Hank? Sounds like you really gave it to him, eh? Well, good on you then. Oh, yeah. Well, I really just wanted to prove myself, you know, take initiative and stuff. So, I went early to go pick it up, but when I returned to Mars, I noticed that pirates were following me. I diverted from the spaceport and led them into the desert, where I fought them off and drove them away. Oh, it was wild, man. Turns out I had you all wrong, Hank. You'll have to tell me all about it later. Let's allow our friend here to get going, though. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. You wouldn't last a week in the moon. 